between the Z Flip and Z Fold lines. Samsung used to control the market for folding phones, but competition is coming in droves, making it impossible for the company to continue coasting. With the Z Fold 6 expected to come in the summer of 2024, all eyes are now on this device. How will it differ from the Z Fold 5, which is easily one of the best-selling foldable phones worldwide? Will it take design or hardware inspiration from the Google Pixel Fold or OnePlus Open, the two rivals snapping at its heels? And will its cameras finally be on par with the best traditional smartphones? Here is everything we've heard about the upcoming foldables so far. It is unlikely that Samsung will release a Z Fold 6, as corporate representatives said during our visit to Samsung's headquarters for the Z Fold 5 launch event that they had already begun developing a follow-up model. Samsung will undoubtedly want to maintain its lead as much as possible, especially since Apple hasn't tried making a foldable phone of its own. Samsung used to frequently sponsor trade events like IFA and Mobile World Congress, but those days are long gone. Anticipate the Z Fold 6 to make its debut at a special unpacked presentation, along with a Z Flip 6 and potentially new Galaxy Watch wearables. Right now, July seems to be the most likely contender. There may not be any official information about the Z Fold 6 right now, but that doesn't mean we're in the dark about what to expect when it arrives. According to the most recent reports, it may come as no surprise that the Fold 6 borrowed its design cues from the S24 series. On leaks and smart pricks claim that it will have flat sides and a repositioned speaker grille when it arrives. As a result, this year's top-tier model with curved sides will only be the S24 Ultra. In terms of dimensions, the new Z Fold 5 is anticipated to be 1.4mm narrower and 2.6mm wider than the previous model, which was definitely on the slimmer side. Fans of productivity will be disappointed that there won't be an S Pen slot either. That leak contradicts earlier rumors of this being Samsung's thinnest foldable phone to date, measuring in at just 11mm thin, compared to the Fold 5's 13.4mm thin profile. The X user Jitec also whispers of a titanium build, which would bring the Fold 6 on par with the Premium 24 Ultra if true. Even while we adored the Z Fold 5, our review only gave it 4 stars. There is still plenty to be desired, and here are the things we believe Samsung should work on first to raise the bar for its upcoming generation. The reason these seem familiar to you is that we had a similar wish list for the model from the previous year. Hopefully, Samsung will pay attention this time. It's a story that isn't unique to Samsung, but we're tired of seeing foldable phones costing north of $1,500 slash £1,500 and packing a camera kit that isn't as capable as a traditional handset costing half the price. Google is guilty of it too. OnePlus seems to have bucked the trend though, and we'd love to see the Z Fold 6 do the same. We would love to see some alternate dimensions instead. But considering that Samsung appears set on maintaining the tall, thin screen seen on the Galaxy Z Fold 5, this is just wishful thinking on our part. Compared to the Z Fold 5 and the stubby Google Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open has discovered a sweet spot that makes it much easier to use while folded shut, whether using one hand or not. If Samsung followed suit, the Z Fold 6 would function far better as a phone than as a foldable tablet that fits in your pocket. The Samsung S Pen Digital Stylus is officially supported by the Z Fold 5, although, unlike the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it is still not included in the box and cannot be stored inside the phone. We understand that folding inner screens are more sensitive than regular phone displays, but we expect that a further year of material development will result in a more durable display for the Z Fold 6, which will allow more users to feel more confident using a pen. So, let us know in the comments below what you think, and don't forget to stay tuned to our channel for more updates. See you in the next one, goodbye.